This one door closes, another reopens in the Twin Cities of Park, reopening and normal after renovations to the playground there. Our Austin Chick shows us how that park is now accessible to more kids of different ability levels. This is the new standard that we'd like to meet when we install new playgrounds. Cardin Park in normal reopening Monday after a year long project. It was the oldest playground uh, that we, we had in our system right now. So it was a great opportunity for us to, to set that model in place. Normal Parks Director Doug Demery says it was formerly the oldest playground in town and hopes to install similar equipment at all playgrounds in normal. Just uh, trying to uh, raise the bar on the ADA standard of what what we've always tried to meet before we've always met before but now try to exceed that. The park getting a new playground costing $180,000 with ramps, sensory chairs for students of all abilities. You know, the surface alone just makes it much more accessible to all kids um, whether they have mobility uh, uh, issues or on a wheelchair or whatnot. We've had students in, in the past and currently who you know require a little bit uh, extra time and, and uh, assistance to get from one thing to the next. Monday morning, Prairie Land Elementary, which backs up to the park, letting their students break it in. They've been literally every day, you know, since school started asking about, you know, when's it going to be ready, Mr. Peter? When's it going to be ready? The principal, Scott Peters, says it was a collaborative project between Unit 5 and the town, and even the students pitched in. The students got to all vote on the color scheme, which was absolutely awesome. Every single child and and a staff member got to vote, and this is what they selected. Hardin Park is open to all community members from dawn to dusk. In normal, I'm Austin Schick.